you know, these are all conspiracy theories that we hear about basketball. But what Tim Donaghy really represents is the idea that the referees can control the game. And that's what the FBI was basically trying to say. Like, listen, if you're betting on these games, you're fixing the games. But Tim Donaghy's main thing was like, no, we're not. I'm not fixing the games. I know who has the advantage or the disadvantage by who's refereeing. And he gave many examples. He even used an example. There was one particular referee that was fond of Isaiah Thomas, which was the coach of the Knicks. And he didn't like Pat Riley. And he said because he knew the type of character of this referee that he would, you know, he wouldn't, you know, he wouldn't tolerate anything from the heat. So he, he basically told him, pick the Knicks. And the Knicks ended up winning that game. And they show you highlights from that game on how that referee basically gave uh, Pat Riley a technical uh, the, for arguing with him. And, you know, it was one of those type of games, you know. So and, and the league has done a good job because, right, you're not, you're not supposed to talk bad about the referees. That's something that they, they've been trying to keep for a long time. You get fined for, for you know, for talking about officiating. Uh, and supposedly they got all kinds of uh, they got like what they call observers, which are people who observe the referees. That's their job. Their job is to actually pay attention to what the referees do on the court. And they have no relationship to the referees at all. The ref No one knows who these people are. These are supposed to be like secret people like they these people work for the secret NBA. Shoppers. Yeah, exactly. There's something like that. They're, they're, they're observers. That's their job. And, you know, the FBI said the N N NBA gave him everything like they gave him all footages, all their like. You know, because Tim Donaghy was saying that he was one of the top rated referees. He was like, if I was fixing games, there's no way I'm going to be a top rated referee. He was like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I was coaching, you know, playoff games. I mean, I was refereeing playoff games. So if, if you get to, to the playoffs and you get those extra money, those bonuses to, you know, do more series, get deeper into the playoffs, that those are the better referees. If you make it to the finals, you're like one of the best referees in the NBA. They only have like 50 of them. <laughs>